Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five favorite practical lights that you can incorporate into your lighting design. Using practical lighting is one of the cheapest and easiest ways to add a little bit of visual interest to your setups. I love practical lighting, and this is a technique that I incorporate into my lighting design all of the time. It can quickly take what would otherwise be a bland setup and turn it into one that really pops. Today, you're gonna to learn what are practicals, how do you use them, as well as five of my favorite practical lights that I use all the time. A practical is any sort of light that you can practically incorporate into your scene as part of your production design or set dressing. Sometimes you'll have those happy accidents where you'll turn up on location and you'll find some amazing practicals there ready to go. But more often than not, this is something that you wanna plan for and something that you add in as part of your design. All right, so let's dive right in. Number one, bare bulbs. Let's face it, sometimes simple is best and a bare bulb can look awesome in the right setup. You can hang them or you can put them in a fixture or you can get a myriad of different accessories and find different and exciting ways that you can use them. A couple of suggestions when shopping for bulbs. For film and video, it's best to stick with old school incandescent or tungsten halogen globes. Edison globes are also fantastic if you wanna add in that cool vintage look. All of these types of globes produce a lovely warm quality of light, are very inexpensive and they're dimmable, which is really important. If you don't want that warm tungsten look and you need something a little bit cooler, or you wanna have some fun with RGB color, then you might wanna look at LED globes. Before you go shopping for LED globes though, you'll want to have an understanding of CRI. Otherwise you might end up with a globe that looks green and disgusting. I'm gonna be doing an entire video on this topic, so now's a great time to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. One last thing to note, when shopping for bulbs for video use, it's best to stick away from CFLs or compact fluorescent globes. I like to put my practical globes on a dimmer. This way you can precisely set the level of output that you want your globe to have, and you won't blow out the background of your shot. When shopping for bulbs, I like to buy them twice, once in bayonet mount and once in Edison screw. Then no matter what socket you need a globe for, you'll always have one ready to go. Number two, household lamps. The simplicity of this type of practical often makes it the most useful and effective choice. Almost every household has some sort of tabletop or standing lamp so it never feels out of place and your design options are virtually endless. When choosing a lamp, try and find ones that are either dimmer compatible or have a dimmer built in. If you find one that you really like and it doesn't work with a dimmer, then at the very least, pick up a couple of globes in different wattages. This way, you'll have some kind of control over the brightness of your lamp. Himalayan salt lamps also make great practicals for the right type of setup. Number three, pendant lamps. Pendant lamps are lighting fixtures that you can suspend into your scene from above. They're made up of cables that have an AC plug at one end and a socket at the other. These work exceptionally well with bare bulbs such as Edison globes or incandescents. You can also add in lampshades or find ones with cages attached. Pendant lamps are fantastic and you can get really creative. You can have these made up specially to your specifications by an electrician or you can buy pre-made cables online. So shop around and see what you can find. Number four, China lanterns. I use China lanterns in conjunction with pendant light cables for a lovely soft light source. They're so easy and so cheap. You can pick them up for like a dollar and you can get them virtually everywhere. To set it up, you simply drop your bulb into the middle of the lantern, expand it with the included wire and attach your cable. If it's a little bit loose, just secure it with a bit of gaff tape. It's that simple. If that hole in the bottom is giving you an issue with light spill, simply cut out a small piece of diffusion paper and drop it into the bottom of the lantern to cover that hole. Even if you don't use these as a practical, they make for a wonderful, soft, portable light source. I like to put them on the end of a boom pole or a light stand and boom them over a top of a shot where it's hard to hide light fixtures. They're great for scenes such as walking scenes through narrow hallways. Number five, fairy lights. I've saved the best for last, guys. Fairy lights are probably my all-time favorite practical. Some might even say that I have a tendency to overuse them, but who cares? They're great, they're beautiful. They're great for adding those little out-of-focus highlights in the background of shots. 
I like to use them in bedroom scenes or scenes that are a little bit more festive where I need to add some highlights to break up an otherwise dark background. They're small, lightweight, inexpensive, and incredibly versatile. I've done an entire video on fairy lights, so if you wanna check that one out after this one, links down in the description. I definitely recommend finding a good LED set that is nice and bright and doesn't flicker. Here in Australia, I like to pick up my fairy lights from Aldi. They only go on sale in November, so make sure to stock up because they sell out really quick. I'm also a fan of those little battery-powered fairy lights. You can pick them up pretty much everywhere, just don't leave the batteries in them as they have a tendency to spew their guts. Well, there you have it guys. Those are my top five favorite practical lighting sources. They're all super cheap, super versatile, and super fun. Make sure to hit that like button if you agree. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to hit subscribe if you wanna see more content just like this, and leave a comment down below and let me know which of these five practicals will you be picking up for your next shoot. Thanks guys, see you in the next video.